How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Real Reviews with Joe Amato. I'm your host, Joe Amato. And I'm doing this on Facebook. So in case during this video, if you're catching it on YouTube, you're wondering who is he talking to, what's going on, well, there's people that'll probably pop up, has some comments, I'll say something too, but I'll wait for a few people to pop up before I start, and then I get into a review of something I just got today. I see a couple people here right now. There's my baby Jen. I love you, Jen. How's it going, Jason Lorber? All right, well, and Gavin. How's it going, Gavin? All right, well, today I got this in the mail. I got the Skeletor and Screech 2-pack. Is that glaring? I don't know if it's glaring. Now, of course, this artwork is inspired. It's an homage to Rudy Obrero's. And if I'm not mistaken, I think even it said down there that Rudy was part of this as well. And it's amazing artwork. But here's my thought about I wish that now if they're having Rudy working on stuff like this, how about creating unique new pieces? Because all of his pieces are breathtaking. But while this homage is is cool, how's it going, David? I mean, while it's it's cool, I love it. It'd be nice just to have original artwork. Like a lot of the things we've been seeing on the box art of other things and the figures is always an homage to something in the past, which I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but you remember how it was in the past. When you got something, whether it was the figures, the castles, the play sets, the vehicles, it's brand new artwork. The posters and the magazines, the puzzles, everything had unique pieces of art. That's what we should be getting nowadays. It doesn't always have to be an homage, but I mean, at least if Rudy worked on this, then respect. I love it. But otherwise, it'd be great if they're having him as being a part of doing stuff with this line. Let Rudy use his, you know, his magic. Let him do his magic and create new pieces. So, well, this is the two-pack. Now, it says that the the figure, it says, inspired by vintage artwork, this collector's edition. I gotta wait till I open this. I'll be honest, I haven't seen anybody do a review on this. It's because, well, I just, I don't watch reviews. That's just, I, I don't. I, it's, it's since back in the day, I didn't watch Cisco and Ebert. I didn't sit there and win the video game magazines. I never really listened to what people had to say about the games because I knew I'd get the games myself. But, uh, yeah, new stuff. That's what we want. It's just new stuff, John. But, um, yeah, so where the hell was I going with that? I was saying something and I completely lost my train of thought. But, all right, so anyways, this look here, I'm going to have to see what it looks Oh, that's what I was saying. I haven't seen a review of this, so I'm hoping that's a poseable jaw because that has got to be the god-awful goofiest looking face ever. But I'm looking forward to Screech. The main reason I wanted this is for Screech, so I can see what it looks like compared to the other one. Because, uh, well, as you'll see when I show that, I remember there was always some issues with the uh, vintage Screech. I loved it, but... It seemed like sometimes the stand was a little, uh, mm, I don't know, not as durable and tight. And it seemed like it always want to lean or fall over. And even like a part of, I'll show you, you know, when I get to it, about the, the neck area and the wings. But let's see. I don't say boxes. I don't do that stuff. I know there's people that like it. That's not me. But let me get right to the Skeletor thing first because I'm very, very curious on his head. I can see that the, the paint design is supposed to be like represent some kind of light or fire or something like that, which that's cool, but I gotta get this damn havoc staff on this fucking packet! There, I got it. No anger. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Alright, let's get this figure. Let me... Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, hold on a second. So anyways, yeah, cool. Little havoc staff. It's got the little different paint design of the flames, which is cool. How's it going, Dan? But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got super strength. Now, let's get to this head for a second. I got to look at the box art. Collector's Edition, inspired by vintage artwork. Okay. Look at that beautiful, amazing artwork by Rudy Obrero. Look at that menacing face. Does this? Huh? Huh? What in the blue hell is going on? And oh, the jaw does move. It's it's posable, but I I just what, what the flying fuck? All right, there. I close it and it just like here it's closed, and it just pops back open. But even closed, it looks. Does that look like this beautiful box art? So, woo! Yikes on the head. I mean, it's still eh, whatever. It's still cool. I love my origins, but 
Woo! That's a painful fucking head there. No. All right. So <laughs> that's that. But the main thing that I want to see is right here. The screech and seeing how he is with the compared to the vintage one. Oh, let me pop up that store too and get this out of here. So, eh, yeah, all right, whatever. What's up, Anthony Mitchell? But God damn it, man, do I gotta get scissors or a blade? I hate this shit that it's so fucking tight in there. And God damn it, I ain't got no scissors. I got a razor blade. I got anything. Fuckers! Pop it there. Okay, well, I at least got Screech out. It's his armor harness that I'm worried about because that looks like it's that type of plastic clip. Hopefully, oh no, it's a, it's another one. Hold on. There, what's up, Anthony? So I got that and the stand. This is what I I know it sounds weird, but I'm very curious on because the vintage one really would lean over. But let's check this sucker out. Get the stand down there. What the hell, did I just drop the armor? Already? Is it on my pants? Oh, I see it. Alright, put that sucker in. Get this on. Already, I like the, the feel of this. I admit, I do like the feel of this screech. Already more than the vintage one. That armor went on good. My vintage screech over there, his armor is off him right now. And I don't want to get up to go get it. But it is over there. Um, let me clip that over his tail. I'm probably going to have to get up now because i got to see the difference. How's it going, Charlie? But let's see. There's supposed to be a thing on the back end. Now that works pretty damn good. The vintage one? Oh, shit. Now I'm going to have to get it. Hold on a second. Let me move this shit to the side. i got to grab the armor because you got to see it properly in comparison. But let me grab that. I got it. All right. Let's get the sucker on the vintage one. The other thing was, like, the plastic or the material, it felt like on the vintage one, always seemed like it went crooked. Or at least it felt like it. I mean, still cool, but his... It's like it's kind of stiffer. You know, a little stiffer when you do the action feature. And the stand is a little more wobbly. But, uh, what's up, Robert? A bird in the hand is worth two in the book. There you go. Yeah, I'm an Origins fan. You bet your ass, Anthony. I love Origins. But here's the Origins one, and it just, it's even more quiet. And it fla this is fucking awesome. Okay, I give it to him. This definitely is better than the Vintage Screech. Let's see if I can get this fucking guy on his perch. Okay, there we go. And this is a stronger, sturdier, too. That's a lot sturdier. Than this one. This one, of course, you know, there's years of play and, and excess wear on this. But even as a kid, I remember it. But they're basically the same goddamn size. Yeah. I mean, they're almost the same size, it looks like it. But I like the, I don't know, even, maybe the vintage one does look a little higher. I'm not sure. But it's just this clip on the vintage and just, listen to that. You can hear it. Listen. And, and the wings barely go, but check out the Origins one. That's fucking bird-like. This, yeah. This is fucking awesome. I love this. I love this, and I can tell it's a lot sturdier with the stand and everything. So this is a definite upgrade. Definite upgrade. Colors are a lot more vibrant, too. But, uh, yeah, I'm a fan. This is what I was looking forward to. Like, yeah, definitely. This is what I was looking forward to with Screech. So... Well, I'm not a fan of, um, hold on, of this, <laughs> this godforsaken <laughs> What the fuck is that? Oh my god, I can't get over it. He's like shocked as shit. What is it, though? What am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? This is terrible. Would you look at this crazy fucking head? <laughs> oh my god, it's, what in the hell? But this... Pure fucking awesomeness. I love this. It's so quiet. Just like a bird. Listen to that. It's soundless. Oh, that flight. This is great. So if you guys haven't got this yet, I think you probably still go to Big Bad I, I, if they're still available. But get this two-pack. Even if you want to hide his fucking face in his mouth. It's because of whatever that techno soup thing to... <laughs> no, but this is... Yeah, I, I like this. I really love it and it... Lot sturdier. 
secure, it's well worth it. I mean, it, it's we've always loved Zoar and Screech back in the day, and now that they've gotten an upgrade, yes, it's similar with the whole look and design, but you could just tell the this material, the rubber is better, that mechanism for the flapping is better, and it seems so much more secure, especially with the stand. So, go to Big Bad, order these if they are available, hide this guy's fucking face, and enjoy getting Screech. But that's it, so, until I do another review, and until next time, have a powerful day.